Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a home hacks video. I keep finding more of these. So today I'm gonna to share with you 10 new home hacks that I think you'll really like. They're also super simple and anyone could do them at home. Some are a bit mind blowing as well. So I hope you really enjoy this video. And if you're new to my channel, then I would absolutely love you to subscribe just by hitting the little red button. I post so many hack videos, I've got loads of playlists as well if you wanna find more home hacks as well. Um, but yeah, with all that said, let's get into the home hacks. So the first hack that I wanted to share with you guys is how to fold a blanket into a pillow. We have so many blankets in our house, but we still kind of need them around because we all like to get cozy in the evening. So you can actually fold it into a pillow and then display that on the sofa or on a bed or on a chair. And obviously you can still use them when you want to. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with this very fluffy big blanket. So you basically wanna lay it flat, normally on the floor, um, but I'm doing it on a table here today to show you guys and you basically want to fold in the two outer sides into thirds so I folded in that one and then you fold this one in like that and then on one end you just want to go in about a quarter of the way and by doing that it creates this little pocket here that's where you're going to tuck it so that it's like a pillow so then once you've done that you just go in one two and then three straight into the pocket you can squeeze that in and then you have yourself a little pillow like this you can display it like that you can kind of like push in the sides if you want to you can even chop it if you want to but it's like a more condensed pillow this is obviously quite a large one because it's quite a large blanket but you can use any size a mum hack that I absolutely love is to wrap an elastic band around this part of your soap dispenser to control how much product your children are using. I know that sounds weird, but since COVID and lockdown, my kids wash their hands more than ever. And I've noticed Jackson does like multiple pumps sometimes. Um, so he's getting loads and loads of product. So what you can do is wrap an elastic band or actually sometimes I need two on these ones. And then it just limits how much soap they're actually getting out. Obviously you want them to wash their hands, but their hands are tiny and so much comes out of these ones. Uh, so that's a really good hack. And why it's important is because inflation is the highest it's been for 40 years. Uh, products are costing so much more at the moment and actually there's something happening in the supermarkets I don't know if you guys have noticed where products will stay the same price but then the manufacturers will actually give you less product so for instant Muller lights have been shrinking over the past years you get like less of it now same with bags of Haribo or in some biscuit packs they'll be the same price but you'll actually get three biscuits less I saw an article on it the other day and I just thought it was really interesting they're calling it shrink shrinkflation I think if you sort of limit how much product then it means that they're not going to just like waste it for no reason so now I've put the elastic on I'll show you how much comes out of it now Another really cool home hack is an easy way to see if a battery is fresh or if it's old. If you have a junk drawer with random batteries in it, this is a perfect test for you. That's what we have. Um, all you have to do is drop this part of it onto the surface and if the battery is fresh it won't bounce but if it is old and it's been used it will bounce quite high. So this one is fresh so it shouldn't really bounce. Um, so I'll just show you. Yeah, it didn't bounce. Whereas if it's old, it goes boom, like that. Something to do with the alkaline. I'm not sure, but it works. <laughs> Next up, I wanted to show you two easy ways to soften butter. This always happens to me when I'm baking and I don't actually have softened butter. These are some really easy quick fixes, like in five minutes. So the first one I saw on TikTok and I thought it was just genius. It is to use a sieve like this, like a wired one, to kind of grate the hard butter. So you literally just rub it on the top like this and then you can see it coming out the top in very fine like grates like that. Hopefully you can see that. Mm. And it just softens it so quickly. It's so easy. You can just rub it on top and then put it into the bowl and you have softened Butter. Love that one. And the second one takes just five minutes to soften a stick of butter. And it is to fill up a glass or a cup like this that will fit over top of your butter with boiling water. Give it a minute and then you dump it out. And then you put that over the top of your butter. Oh, whoops, I've got it the wrong way, sorry. 
<laughs> like this. Uh, leave it there for about five minutes and then it will be soft. The next hack is a super simple one, but I thought it was worth sharing with you guys because whenever I do it, I absolutely love it. And it is, I pretty much only use my ice cream scoop for making muffins because when I make up my muffin batter, it's so easy to just get a scoop of it like this. And then because it has this bit in the middle, it will like throw it out into the muffin case. So rather than use two spoons and like fiddle with it, this is a really great hack when you're baking or making muffins or cupcakes, whatever. This next home hack is such a simple one, but I wanted to share it because I put it on my Instagram and TikTok and it went viral, it just blew up. Everyone seemed to love it. And it's how to store cake, like the best way to store it. So it is to put it in a Tupperware, but upside down. So you actually put the cake on top of the lid and then you put the bottom of the Tupperware on top so it's like a dome. And the reason this is so good is when you do want some cake and you get it out of the fridge, it's really easy to cut it on the lid of the Tupperware rather than try and reach in to the actual Tupperware. I hope that makes sense. It's a really good one. I also really wanted to share some candle care tips with you because there's a few things that you can do to really make the most out of your candles. Sometimes they're really expensive and you want them to last and just by letting it burn for long enough that the whole surface is melted will make them last so much longer. So if you let them burn for long enough and don't just like blow them out too soon, that will prevent your candle from funneling. But if you do get that funnel, there is also a quick way to fix it. Let's see if you've got like wax all around the edges and you want like it to burn for longer. So you wrap the tin foil around it like this, light it, obviously leave a hole so that it can breathe, but that will help to heat up the wax that's on the sides of the candle and melt it as well. And one more tip, if you are like me and you can never find matches or a lighter, something that I really like to use is a piece of spaghetti. It's super long, so it's great if you're lighting lots of different candles. You can just use your stove, that's what I normally use and it will catch a light like this and then you can light your candles so sorry it's a bit wiggly Ta -da! yeah really easy hack and something that we do that really helps when it comes to grocery shopping is to both be logged in on our supermarket app. So we'll both have it on our phones and then if we happen to notice that something is running low or we're out of something, we can just go on and add it um, to the app like that. And then we basically set an alarm once a week to remember to check out of the app. But if you don't online shop, you can also make your notes shared. So you can share it with your partner and then you can both be putting into notes like what's needed. Um, you can actually do that with anything, but it's just a really good way to kind of like stay on top of stuff. You don't have to remember to tell someone something and yeah, it's really easy. I also spend a lot of time trying to avoid ironing and I've got two hacks to help you get creases out. So if you've forgotten about a load of laundry in your tumble dryer and then everything is like super creased, a really great hack is you can add two or three ice cubes to the tumble dryer, just like that chuck it in and then turn on the cycle for about five minutes and it really helps to get the creases out. And if you don't have ice cubes, another thing that you can do is get a damp flannel, like this one, I've just dampened it and really wrung it out. You can put this into the tumble dryer again for about five minutes and it kind of like steams some of the creases out. It works amazing, like if I need a school shirt for the kids in a hurry and it's creased, um, I'll just chuck one of these in and it works really well. I've also found a use for hangers like this. When I online shop or order anything, I get so many of these hangers and they're not actually great for me to use in my wardrobe, but these clips are so you can actually pull them off the end like that and you can use it as a bag clip for crisps or you can also use them in your freezer as well to hold together peas stuff like that so I just thought it was like a great use if you're not going to bother using these you can actually pull them off Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you learned something new, if there's any here that you will try and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.